Good afternoon. Today is the 16th of April, although by the time you see this, it'll be the 17th of April, I imagine. Um, I'm actually in uh, in Norwich today. Um, I've been out doing a job today. And uh, the thing I want to talk about is something related to what I've been doing today is, should you buy a car in London or should you try to find one as far away from London as possible? What's the best way of... Uh, getting the best deal. So, as many of you will know, um, the London Ultra Low Emission Zone came in early this month and um, basically petrol cars were mainly before 2006 and diesel cars were mainly before 2015 and not flavour of the month anymore. Um, if you go into the congestion charge zone between 7 and 6 Monday to Friday, you've got to pay your congestion charge and then um, at any time you go in a zone, you've, if you don't have a non, if you don't have a compliant car, you've got to pay about twelve pounds extra on top of that. Um, so it's not um, actually, um, you know, great to have a car that doesn't comply with the emissions regulations anymore in London. Um, and in October twenty twenty one, the boundary will be extended to the North and South Circular. So as you can imagine, um, petrol cars that are mainly before two thousand six, although some. Um, Euro 4 compliant cars were made before then and diesel cars before September 2015 although some Euro 6 diesels were made before then as well um, they don't tend to be worth very much in London at the moment. Conversely if you've got a car um, say like the one that you know I've been sourcing today which was um, a 2011 petrol car um, then um, that um, is absolutely fine for London, um, all future proofed, and um, the prices in London tend to be a little bit higher. Um, out here in, in, in Norfolk, we don't have anything like that at the moment in Norwich, although who knows, somebody might introduce that in a few years. Um, but for now, you know, people don't really care about that kind of thing. <laughs> um, so, um, prices of those sorts of cars are a little, probably a little bit lower. But of course, prices of uh, you know diesel cars um, are sort of higher. So you know it, it really depends on the sort of car that you want. Mind you, the other thing about buying a car um, out of a big city is that the price much might be higher anyway because there are fewer around. So um, the search I, I I've been doing um, is for a car that's affordable and. If you go to London, there's loads of affordable cars you can buy. They're just all over the place because more people live there. Um, whereas, you know, around here, there just aren't as many. And so the prices might be a little bit higher because of that. Um, so my my advice as to whether or not to buy um, a car, you know, in around London or far away from it, it really depends on, on what you want. Um, if you are after um, a late petrol car, sometimes they're cheaper out here. Um, if you're after a diesel car, buy one in London, they're cheap down there. But if you want the most choice, um, try to find a, you know, a big city and um, then you'll have a sort of plethora of choice. Possibly the prices are a bit higher in different types of car, I don't know. But certainly if you you know are someone in the N25, then you'll be, you know, sport for choice. Just hope you found that video useful. Um, sorry I can't be too specific about it because it really does depend on a vast number of factors and how far you're wanting to drive as well. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Um, my website is www.lloydvehicleconsulting.co.uk um, and please use the contact me page to get in touch. My Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Lloyd Vehicle Consulting. And as I, as I said, I've been sourced out sourcing a car today. I've got another uh, car I'm looking at with a client tomorrow. So I am on the road on all sorts of places um, looking for cars. And I'd love to do that for you. My general guide is to say that I source a car from anywhere between 800 and 30,000 um, pounds. I also deal with finance that I did today. Um, so please get in touch if that's something that you'd be interested in. Thank you ever so much indeed for watching.